Hello everyone. So continuing with our previous project, we are going to complete the modeling, adding larynx to the bronchus. So for your reference, I have created larynx and we are going to model this. So let's see how can we create this one over here. To begin with, I am going to add a cylinder with eight number of sides and I am going to bring it to the top, bring it like this, all right. And then I am going to press forward slash so that I can get into the separate selection and into the edit mode, first thing I am going to do is I am going to delete these faces top and bottom both. This is done. Let's start the editing. All right. Before that, we can do one more thing over here and that is that uh, we should split this in half. So I'm going to delete faces on one side so that, okay, we can save our time and I'm going to apply the mirror modify on Y axis. Perfect. This is what we wanted. All right. Now to begin with, what I want to do is I'm going to go to the vertex mode first and I'm going to push these vertices down like this. Select these a bit this. Make it sort of taper like this. Perfect. Select this back vertex. Actually, this should not go. So this I'm going to keep like this. If I switch to side view, so from side I can make it like this, like this. And from side also, I need to squeeze it to make it look like it has been tapered. All right. After this, what I'm going to do into the solid view. Let's add one loop cut over here and I'm going to slide it like this. Perfect. Then select this vertex and I'm going to push it down like this. After that, I'm going to insert one cut on this side with control R in the center like this. All right. And then I'm going to select this face. I'm going to extrude it outwards like this. Now this needs some fix. So I'm going to delete this face. Come back over here and I'm going to close this gap like this. Select this edge. Squeeze it in like this, this edge, like this. And with that, what we are going to do in the beginning, this face also needs to be deleted, this face, yeah. And at the beginning only, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to apply uh, subdivision surface modifier as well so that I can see the smoothness details and with that I am going to add more details to it. So before subdivision actually I should add solidify modifier also because see right now if I turn this off as of now we can see that it is looking like a very thin uh, you know paper kind of design so I need to have some volume in it so that's why I am going to add solidify and I am going to increase this thickness part to give some volume to it. And after this, let's add the subdivision surface. So if I exit the edit mode, so this is how the look will come up. No need to worry, we definitely need to refine it. But see, according to smoothness, we'll add details to it. So if I'll come here on the side, 
all right so this side if i go to the edit mode um, let's do one thing on this side i'm going to insert two loop cuts or maybe three and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select one in the middle and i'm going to choose to, to dissolve this edge so that i can i can have a larger area over here so instead of you know moving the edges um, one by one on both side i just you know taken uh, extra number of edges and from the center i deleted now i'm going to select this and i'm going to push it down like this so i can see the, how the curve is following up one cut over here maybe a bit like this vertex with the vertex i'm going to def refine this curve perfect this is also i think good let's come to the front side front it's not bad but maybe we need to have some sort of curve over here so here also i'm going to add let's add one for the time being select this vertex and maybe like this then into the wireframe mode i'm going to select these vertices one second rather we can select the edge and we can choose to scale it down so that it can push in like this if i switch to solid view and then into the vertex mode we can bring the vertices towards the center this one needs to go obviously All right, so seam is getting distorted. Uh, we might have a solution for this. We can select all the center edge uh, vertices first at the seam, and we can scale. Oops, we can scale them to align them straight perfectly. After that, what we can do here is first open it like this, and then into the uh, mirror modifier, we can turn on the clipping, and then we can close the seam like this. so it actually seals the seam over here and you know it made it look like a singular object all right this is looking good enough shade smooth with that okay it is having this sort of detail maybe thickness i need to add a tiny bit more all right this is good so far and this portion we need to fix so what i can do here is i can select these vertices and i can try to push it in select these and these better to select in the wireframe mode perfect into the solid view we can give some some sort of roundness softness towards over here perfect and if i check the object from the top view it's not looking bad i think it's fine if you want you can insert one more cut over here so that it can have some sharp edging around over here All right and one at the bottom also like this all right so once this is done uh, the next part i'm going to do is is this at the bottom i need to adjust the shaping so i'll go to the wireframe view and i'm going to move the vertices somewhat like this and from the side i think it's okay it's fine <clears throat> all 
all right so i think it is looking good enough perfect we will leave it as it is after that we need to attach one more uh, object over here we need to create actually one more so to create next object for larynx what i'm going to do is i'm again going to take a cylinder having eight sides only and let's bring it over here s to scale it down and i think it's perfect scale its height like this perfect and on this also i'm going to apply the same technique that i'm going to select faces on one side delete them and make sure to delete top and bottom faces as well perfect we'll come here apply mirror something is wrong i think yeah so now mirror model fire we have got perfect and let's go to the wireframe view vertex bring this one down over here this one a bit down over here this one i'm going to squeeze in a bit not much but a tiny bit and one more cut over here and here also uh, yeah so this one i'm going to pan like this all right now on to this i'm going to apply that first solidify increase the thickness around this much is looking good and then subdivision surface shade smooth so this is how we'll get the shape perfect edit vertex mode we can select these vertices we can push them up a bit into the wireframe view we can push these upwards like this make sure that you are making the selection in the wireframe view all right so if i check this from the top mm, good enough not bad though let's see if it's getting fixed i think so we need to scale it up a bit okay this is a bit too much down like this all right i think this is good enough so larynx is done and we can press forward slash back and we have got our mesh over here so this along with this we need to push upwards and i'm going to scale it like this and i'm going to bring it over here all right so this is how we are going to create uh, okay this portion is looking a bit flat although it doesn't have much roundness but of course you can fix it up so into the wireframe view i am going to select these vertices and i am going to stretch it out like this maybe these ones as well 
or maybe a bit towards this direction. All right, so this is done, larynx and this part. After this, what I am going to do that let us come to the bronchus where this, uh, you know, partition is going uh, into the lungs, uh, the trachea part. All right, so this portion is not looking good. So, what we are going to do here is we are going to create a, a external structure which look like as if this is a joint. So, for this what I am going to do is let us bring the entire bronchus into a separate selection perfect and I am going to start with a plane. Let us rotate this, bring it up and what I am going to do is I am going to split this in half so that I can apply mirror modifier to this, mirror on y axis perfect, scale it down like this and I am going to bring it upwards till here. All right. From the side, let us bring it out like this, we will come back to here and let us switch to wireframe view. So, I am going to keep this section up until here and the edge we need to select. So, into the edit mode I am going to select this edge and I am going to extrude the edge according to my requirements. So, I am going to keep the edge over here like this. Alright, let us switch to side view and I am going to first bring the mesh very close to the bronchus and into the edit mode selected edge push a bit like this then extrude it like this from front obviously I need to bring it out. So, this we need to draw very carefully and from here I need to bring it outside like this. Like this make sure that it is not overlapping. Okay, after that what we can do is we can select the vertices and I need to adjust the vertex over here. So, along this portion I am going to create the next extrude this vertex maybe I can push in like this. So, at the beginning only we want to keep the shape proper so that at uh, later we would not face any issue. Now, select this edge and extrude it like this. From the side also we need to provide some sort of bend. Like this and we need to select vertex. So, this is the vertex perfect and I am going to bring it out like this. From here I am going to bring it out like this. Maybe this one I need to bring a bit out more. And if I look it, so see this is how it is being getting some curve. Of course, it refine, it needs refinement, but we are you know, at the beginning of the modeling only. So, select this edge, extrude like this. Let us see if it is going in the right direction. I think so. So, from the front, I mean I cannot really find its proper position. So, I need to go to the side view and from here. I can keep it like this and vertex I can bring over here like this. Select the edge. All right. So, for some reason here is a clutter of multiple vertices. I can select them and I can simply press M and I can merge them at center. This is better. So, see how we are forming the shape. All right. After this, I am going to select the edge one last time and extrude it like this approximately towards the center. Perfect. 
this is how it is going to look and it's not overlapping with the object and if I select the vertex this one and I can bring it a bit upwards like this all right next to this what I am going to do is I am simply going to apply the mirror modifier on other axis uh, along z okay now with that the problem only is that I need to shift its center so that this mirror side comes over here so we can simply go into the edit mode press a to select all and we can push it like this a and where the seam is matching with that we can also make sure to turn on the clipping okay so clipping will adjust later because right now we are just you know shifting the center so first of all let's place the object at its position I think it was right over here all right then what we can do is we can go to the edit mode and vertex we can select these two I believe shift and we can turn on the clipping and this has been sealed perfect so this is how we have got the shape and if I exit this it will look like this now from the bottom it is open but it's up to you if you want to um, make something over here you can do so so for example um, by at this edge what we can do is sorry add to the edit mode select this edge and we can extrude it like this vertices we can select yeah and we can straighten them out and remaining thing will be done by clipping so this has been clipped and this vertex I can move like this I mean you can adjust these vertices also but for example for, but for the time being this one so this one also if I want I can okay so it is providing some trouble so for the timing we can let it be like this I mean so we can keep it as it is we can maybe push it towards like this one we can bring over here so this vertex we can bring so I mean you are now all you are doing right now is that how you need to keep the shape and accordingly you are adjusting it if I want into the center maybe I can keep a number of cuts like this and I'm going to delete the center one again the same reason is I want more spacing over here so I find this way more convenient so I'm going to simply choose to dissolve this edge perfect and now I can select these vertices and I can push them in so that it won't overlap on entire area all right I think that's about it Alright, so once basic shape is done, now I think we can add the solidify and then subdivision surface to really see the result. So subdivision surface has been also added with minimum two level and shade smooth I am going to apply obviously. And it needs some fixing over there. I, am, I need to check why these extra edges is coming out but let's move the thickness in the solidify. So I am going to bring the solidify volume in the negative direction and maybe I can scale the overall mesh and adjust it all right so for the time being let's turn these off and what is this I need to check 
so this vertex is coming out extra I don't know why so we can simply choose to dissolve the vertex or delete I would say and yeah so this is how we can create this joint sort of mesh let's turn on the solidify as well as the subdivision and if you want you can scale it and adjust it into the vertex we can select I think this one and we can push it a tiny bit outward like this to adjust the shape this one if I want inwards this one outward all right so that's how we can keep it like this and if I Alright, so if I exit, so there we go and I think we can push the lungs apart so that it looks like this. So this is how we can complete the entire bronchus with larynx and this joint in the center. So I hope you understood this process and I think with this you can create this sort of mesh of the respiratory system. Thank you so much for watching the video.